Okay, I want to thank one of my EDL 689 students from the fall semester for allowing me to use one of her examples for this particular activity. What I want to show you here is the way in which I'm going to provide feedback throughout the semester, which is by using track changes and then show you how it is that um, you can accept those changes so to make it easy for yourself. So what you essentially have here, this is a submission that was sent to me by a particular student. So this is the beginning of her literature review. In this case, she was sending me a couple and a half pages of a particular section that she wanted to get feedback on. Um, so as you can see here, now what I would normally do is I would normally go up and click on the review function and then I would turn on track changes and what that allows to happen is that allows for me to, so that every single time I make a change for example like this you see that this box appears over here on the side and it shows you that I deleted the word and and you can see in a different kind of font here the number the the number sign for and comes in or the numerical sign for the symbol for and if you will and the way in which you can see this if you aren't able to see it Normally, if you click on, again, I'm on the review panel up here. Oops, let me bring that back. I have show markup on, and you can see that I have both the comments, the insertions and deletions, formatting, markup area highlights, and highlight updates indicated so that when this does happen, you can see over here on the left, you see there's a line there which indicates that there's been a change made on that particular line, and you can scroll across and easily identify where that change is. So, um, what I'd like to show you here is this is basically the full marked up version that I sent back to her. So you'll note some of the things I do, for example, is I will put things in the comments. So I made a comment here about the fact that this was an incomplete sentence, that it was also a value statement, and value statements are things that need to be supported with the literature. You can see here that change that I made where I added the sim symbol for and and deleted the word. As you can see down here, there are some more comments. There's some more changes in this line, for example. Um, you, I deleted the Fuchs and Fuchs 2006 from the end and moved it to the front of the line because it goes in alphabetical order. Now, so once you've got all of these changes that have been made and you can see them all here, the question is, when I send this back to you, well, what do you do with it? Well, the easiest thing to do is to go into the review pane and you'll see that you can scroll through the comments or you can also scroll through the changes. So if I'm up here at the very beginning, if I were to click next over here on the changes option, it will take me to the first change or comment. So it takes me to comment one. Now I'm not going to do anything with that, but I will click it again and you'll notice it takes, takes me to the change for and. I can click accept, or if, actually if I just click accept the button, it'll actually accept and move to the next one. If I want to just accept that change and stay where I am, I can just click on that accept change right there and that's enough for me. Um, so I'm going to click off here again, I'm going to move to this, so I will go click next again which brings me there, and if I just click the accept button you'll see it this down here disappeared because I accepted that change and it moved to the next one which is the insertion of this one. If I click accept here it moves to the next one which is a comment. So I'm going to scroll through these comments and I'll move down to the next one. Now another way of being able to do this if you'd like as you look through if you see for example right here there are four changes I made. I added that particular part there I added that symbol for and I deleted the word and, and I also deleted a semicolon Fuchs and Fuchs comma 2006. Now, if I want to do, to accept all of those without doing that individually, so that's four changes there combined. If I were to just essentially highlight roughly those couple of lines around it, and I just go up here and click accept, it accepts all four of them at the same time. And then because I hit the accept button, it moves me to the next item, which is a comment. Um, you know, so you can go through, for example, and here's another one where you can see I added the word further there. I deleted a quotation mark from this block quote. I also deleted an end quotation mark from this block quote. And if I were to click on the pull down part of accept up here and just click accept change, it'll accept those three changes 
and stay where I am. So there's a couple of ways in which you can go about doing this as you're working through so that you don't have to go through and accept all of my changes. So again, like here's a good example. I can I added a space here. I can accept that. It moves to the deletion of the period there. I can accept that. Then, you know, I can just work my way across and accepting all of these things um, so that it gives me a clean document. And then essentially as I delete each of these, um, you know, as I address each of these comments, I can delete them. Another way in which you can do this, at least for the ones that show up over on the side, so for example, you'll see here doing RTI right, I've removed the double quotation marks and just put in the single quote marks. If I just wanted to delete those, I could actually click on the check mark right here, and you see it'll delete those. Now, it doesn't do anything over here, unfortunately. So I've got to highlight that and click accept change to do that. So there's a number of different ways in which you can address these changes. And the quicker you start to go about essentially adding these things in, uh, the easier it becomes for you instead of trying to print them out and type them up yourself or to you know go through and copy and paste it into a new document by using the these track change features as I give them back to you and by accepting those changes that will essentially allow you to um, manipulate your documents in a much easier fashion.